Hello YouTube and welcome to a virtual world tutorial on the Unreal Engine 4. In this tutorial we're going to be covering how to convert a BSP brush into a static mesh. BSP stands for Binary Space Partition. Ok let's get started. First of all we'll go down to Geometry. We've got our material selected as well, Brick 1 Diffuse Mat. We'll have that selected, we'll drag in a box. And we'll make that box a 2. Point on the X value, 2.5 on the Y value and 2.5 on the Z value. We'll just drag that up a bit. As you can see that's our BSP brush and as what you do then, you make sure the brush is highlighted. You can do it by either clicking on the actual wireframe itself or on the, or on the surface of the BSP brush. And then, then what it does, it will bring up this properties panel to your right. You scroll down until you get to a section that says brush settings. If you don't see this, these options down the bottom here, click on this drop down arrow and it'll expand it. And you'll see these options here. It says polygon, solidarity, order, aligned brush vertices, and the one we want, which is called create static mesh. Click on create static mesh. So it'll bring up this dialog window. Give it a name and a place where you want to save it in your content browser. We'll just choose content, uh, downloaded content, then click create static mesh, and as you can see, it's now ch changed that BSP brush into a static mesh. As you can see here, look where it says static mesh, box brush, static mesh. If you can't find it, click on a little this icon here, the little magnifying glass, and it will bring up in your content browser whereabouts it is. So we can go ahead and delete that, say, then here we go, we can drag that in. And now it is a static mesh and we can tell it by double clicking on it and to bring up the static mesh window zoom out of it and there it is and it tells us it's, uh, it has 12 triangles and 24 vertices if you then want to go if you want to export this static mesh so you can bring it into projects like blender or Maya or 3d studio Mac to do further editing to it you would right click on the static mesh itself in the content browser right click come to asset actions then go to export and as you can see, it's prompting you to give a save location. We'll just choose desktop, give it, leave it the same name, then click save. Then I'll bring up this dialog window. Make sure you've got your FBX set to 2013. That's compatible with most versions, most software that you'll be using to edit it externally. Then just click export. As you can see, I go to my desktop. It's now created a boxbrush.fbx. That's it for today's lesson, YouTube. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.